Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of GTV. It's me again, Mommy Ginger. And today, uh, we're gonna talk about something very interesting. No? And it's it's about uh, looking at Filipino, the Philippine culture, uh, our plants, animals, everything. No? So, um, I've invited my friend because I came across this book. She introduced it to me. And sabi ko, parang okay to, ha, to teach Zika, like everything there is to know about basically uh, the the bio, what do you call it, Anya? Bio, Biodiversity. Biodiversity in the Philippines. So this is my friend, Anya. Anya, would, like, would you like to introduce Hello. yourself? Hi. Yeah, so um, it's funny introducing myself to you because I've known you for... I know. <laughs> since 2014, right? At oh, the start yeah. of O2. Exactly, exactly. Yes, yeah, so... Yeah, it was because of Vanilla Workshops. Yeah, so we were looking for a space and it so happened that Anya owns O2. It's a co-working space, right, Anya? So how's yeah, business? Yeah, and this is where I am right now. Yeah, so how's business, like with the pandemic and everything? Yeah, well, it's a little challenging because we're a physical space where people see each other face-to-face and you really can't avoid it. Mm-hmm. Um... So we're, we, we, we've done, like, you know, we've had to adjust certain things, like yeah. a room that used to be for five people. Yes. Right. Might only be for two. And cut it. Yeah, exactly. No? Exactly. So, yeah. So we have alcohol everywhere. We have a purifier running all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we're really doing everything to keep mm-hmm. it safe. And, um, Yeah. Yeah, so it's interesting to see that you created this book, Anya. Because I've I've seen a lot of friends like diversify, you know, in terms of like what they're doing. They're looking for something else. Like I have this doctor friend who's cooking baked sushi. Tapos oh, wow. you, grabe. I can't imagine like you creating a book. Pero ang galing mo, well, you did it. Maybe you can tell us more about it. All right. Actually, um, it came at a good time. You know, I've been working. Um, on the book for a year now. Mm-hmm. So last year pa to, actually. Okay. But then if you, if you really look deeper into it, no, mm-hmm. um, I've been working on it since I started working in Haribon Foundation. I used to work there. Mm-hmm. Um, Haribon Foundation is like one of the oldest um, Filipino environmental organizations. Um, and I was their membership officer there. So I was in charge of recruiting members, etc., etc. So Shampra, part of recruiting people is letting them know mm-hmm. how rich Philippine biodiversity is. I mean, did you know, Nax? Nax? Sige nga, sige nga. Like, example. Well, did you know? For example, like we are one of 17 mm-hmm. mega biodiverse countries in the world. Talaga? Like top seven? Now, wh- <laughs> yes. Now, what does that mean to be mega biodiverse? Parang, um, it's, uh, it depends on the number of um, endemic species. When you say endemic, it yeah. means you're found only there and nowhere Ooh, else. Okay. So versus the word native, if you're a native species, it means you naturally occur there, but yeah. you're not necessarily only there. Okay, all right. Right? Can be okay, found so, elsewhere. No? Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. So, it, yun yung mga batayan to find out, like, if you're mega biodiverse, the number of endemic species, etc., etc. Yeah. So, when I was working in Haribon, that really shocked me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was, like, way, you know, that was several years after college. And dun ko lang na-realize na, wow, ganun pala kayama ng Pilipinas mm-hmm. sa biodiversity. Like, I mean, the fact that we have the Philippine eagle, for example. Yeah. Um, it is the largest eagle in the world. Largest. Yeah. Um, do you know how tall it is? It's like um, almost um, a meter high. Mm-hmm. So it's like probably as tall as my toddler. Wow. <laughs> as tall as a two or three year old. That's yeah. your wingspan is two meters. Oh. Parang, Ang na na. Natin alam. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It's almost seven feet. Um, the wingspan. So, and that's just one. Like another fact is, um, we are the center of the center of marine biodiversity. Wow. Okay. In, so we're in the. There's a coral triangle, um, and uh, like the Verde Island Passage, somewhere off uh, 
Mindoro, Batangas, but Sa Verde Island, that's where the center of the center of marine so biodiversity is. Th that's where they like. Uh, that just means that, that that's like the the convergence of many endemic species, species and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So all these years, parang since then, no, parang I've always felt we should tell more people about this. People should know more about this. Mm -hmm. Para hindi because if I feel um, something I learned also in Harry Bono, no, um, mm -hmm. na parang if you don't know something. How would you love it? It's true. And, it's true. Yeah, so parang if you don't love something or know something to begin with, how will you want to protect it? Yeah. You know, yeah, but, you know what? It's so interesting. Cause parang I I when I saw this and you told me about it, I was playing, I don't know if you know Animal Crossing. Diba? In animal I've heard of it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so I've heard animal people, yeah. crossing kasi. So me and me, my, my friends love it, no. Actually, um, Zika bought the Nintendo Switch, pero ako yung gumagamit. Okay. <laughs> so, so I bought my own okay, Switch, pero Switch Lite lang, kasi wa, masyadong mahal yung Nintendo Switch. Na okay. Lang. So this game, you look for different species of animals. So okay. pero the, the, the animals there are really what basically we know, no? yung medyo western and uh, like whale, sharks, hammerheads, uh, hammerhead sharks. Ganon. So, parang nagtataka ako, why don't we have, like, ganyan, like, yung nandito sa Pilipinas, no? Yes. And even the flowers there, kasi you also breed, uh, in Animal Crossing, oh, you breed. Oh, okay, flowers. okay, okay. So, the flowers that they have are the usual roses, lilies. Tapos, kanina, I think we were talking, no? You mentioned, like, santan. Saka, oh, no, no, why don't we have, like, ganyan, mga games. And, I know, what's interesting pa, di ba, when you build, like, houses there, there are Filipinos okay. who build uh, Jollibees, ha? Jollibees. <laughs> Kasi they, they, like, set it up in a way na ganon. So, yeah. Okay. Maybe something interesting later on that when you, di ba? Yeah. Like, Merchandising possibilities. <laughs> I expand. Kasi it's very easy. Yeah. Nice. Pero sige, can you tell me, kasi I, I know the story, you know, but I want you to share with, with, yeah. with the viewers as well. Like, why did you come up with this book? And what, what was the seed? Of the idea. Okay. So, I, I, I subconsciously, yun na nga, siguro it started when I was in Haribon, which is mm. way back 2004. And there was just this, wow, I became a super bird nerd. You know? <laughs> yeah, whenever I'd say, hey, that's a Pasar Montanos. Wow. <laughs> which is really just a Maya. <laughs> which, by the way, mm -hmm. um, basta when we were growing up, Mm -hmm. the, the the national bird was Maya. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you reach that yes. yes, yes, right? Oh, oh. Um, and the Maya is not e the national bird was actually not the Maya that we see every day. The brown with the yeah, the black. brown one. No, That's smooth. actually a Eurasian tree sparrow. Oh, okay. So then we just call it Maya, right? Because mm -hmm. it's everywhere. The real national bird I think that they were referring to during our time was the Maya. Um, oh. It's called a chestnut. It's a munya. Okay. It's a different kind of bird pala. So parang, okay. just those things, those little facts, na parang naging nerd talaga ako about biodiversity. Wow. Because it was just so inspiring to be with people in Haribon Foundation. Na parang, who really just loved nature and knew so much about it. And that really, it was really about protecting what we had. Because wow. We, yes, had we had a lot. We have yes. a lot, actually. Until now, yeah. Yes, we do. I mean, it's, it's yeah. Mm. yeah I, I would say it's not far from what it was to, in 2004, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so finally that in itself inspired me. Um, and so fast forward, na parang so from the thought na, bakit nga ba hindi natin alam tong mga to? Mm. So actually, when I was in membership, I would go to schools, I would go to companies, Telling them about how rich Philippine biodiversity is. Mm -hmm. And we would even go on trips. So okay. we would go snorkeling, we'd go diving, oh. we'd go bird watching. So basically, we wanted to expose people to what we had. Mm -hmm. So that kasi if you protect, if, you, if you're aware of something, you tend to, like me, parang, oh, parang if you knew me, who mm -hmm. would ever think I'd be a bird nerd? Yeah! <laughs> oh, so parang, 
I wanted everybody to be like that. Parang ganon. So I wanted really to spread the love for Philippine okay. biodiversity. So I guess the seed was started then. Mm-hmm. And then I became a mother. Yes. Okay, so um, in 2012, I had my first child. Mm-hmm. And parang, I don't know, but that was like first child thing. So parang you're still taranta and stuff. Yes. But a part of me was like, <laughs> first child. Well, parang a part of me was like, hey, he can identify a lion, tiger, and bear at less than one year old. Yes. I'm sure Zika was like that yeah. also. Then, yeah. Um, yeah, so when fast forward, I had a second child. Mm-hmm. And parang ganun din. But then this time, I was not as harassed a mother as I was the yeah, first. Yeah, ganun lang pala yun. <laughs> Oo, actually. Ganun lang pala, so kaya naman. Kaya so I wasn't that pala, harassed. Diba? <laughs> Sige, kaya mo yan. <laughs> Basta walang dugo. Oo, exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah, mothers can relate. <laughs> exactly, so basta walang dugo, okay na yan. So parang mas may time ako ngayon mag-isip. Mm-hmm. So parang, so with my second child, I was like, okay, it's the same with her as with my yeah. first child. The parent, wow, at less than one year old, you can identify all of these animals. But hey, why not the other animals and, you know, plants that I, you know, that are here in the Philippines? Yeah. So, doon, so parang, doon na, na, na isip ko na parang, I, 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 and I would scourge, I'd look around, ha? I'd look around okay. talaga bookstores and stores na parang, Bakit walang Philippine species, parang, or if ever meron, yeah. they were kind of too serious to yes. read. Mm-hmm. And actually, we had some books na environmental with Philippine species, pero ang hirap niyang basahin na storybook at night, ha? Yeah. Nakaka- <laughs> it oh, was very, it, it's, yeah, it's very, it's for older kids. Yes, uh... It's not simple language. So initially, actually, I wanted to make something like a simple kwento mm. about books. Pero sabi ko, nako, di ko alam kung makakasulat ba ako nito or what. Mm. Tapos naisip ko, hey, if I can make a list of, the, of, of yeah. species from the top of my head that yeah. can complete the 28 letters of the Filipino <laughs> alphabet in case anybody doesn't know yet the Filipino alphabet is the Latin alphabet of 26 letters plus, plus N, Y, and N, G. So, 28 yeah. letters na siya. Hindi na siya yung abacada. Because uh. <laughs> a lot of people still think that, huh? Yeah. So, sabi ko, that was my challenge. If I could think, because nga there was no material, hey, why don't I make it myself? You know, I mean, I think that's really, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah, that's true. If there's something you can't find yourself, Make it. Ikaw na lang. <laughs> yes. I mean, when it, it was, I mean, so f- I was able to do like a list of maybe 20 something. Certain letters were a challenge. Mm-hmm. So I asked the help of my old office, Haribon Foundation. Mm-hmm. Uy, can you help me naman fill up the rest <laughs> of the letters? Okay. And with their help and some, a lot of brainstorming, really, that was the, what took the longest in the whole process. Completing the list of 28 letters that I was happy with as a, uh, as a biodiversity nerd. Mm-hmm. Um, parang that representatives of Philippine flora and fauna that would complete the 28, that was the longest. Wow. Maybe that took like six months. Okay. Yeah, so, but in yeah. between, we already started. We already started with the illustrations of the other letters now that we were sure we wanted. Okay. Where did you so get you this? Did you work with someone? Okay. Yes, because I cannot draw to save my life. And the, the art on the book is beautiful. I mean, it's what carries the book. Yeah. Really. It's my friend, Jay Javier. Hi, Jay. Um, oh. Yes, hi, Jay. Um, um, he was my office mate. I was working at a TV network. Okay. For a, sh- for a while as the as a voiceover, actually. Pero machika kasi ako. So, friends kasi lang lahat dun sa department. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I tapped him. Yeah. And, nagkata, because he, he posts his drawings and stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. parang natita ko na din yung portfolio niya. Uh-huh. So, parang I go, so, mm, interesting, mm-hmm. interesting art. So, you artists, just keep on posting your stuff. You never know. Yeah, you Which never know. I get. Yeah, oh, I mean, that's how I figured to tap him because I saw his drawings and I said, mm, bak- 
parang bagay. And then, so we started that just him and me. Mm-hmm. And actually, I have to mention a special shout out to my husband, mm-hmm. Wilson, <laughs> who's been very supportive talaga of, well, of me creating something like this. Mm-hmm. You know, so I mean, it's really crucial to have someone cheering you on. It's true. Yeah. Parang go, kaya mo yan. It's a good <laughs> idea. Parang you just need to hear that, you know? Yeah. Um, but you never so, had, you don't have any background, like you never created a book before. So this no. is, wow. <laughs> so how did you know about the process, Anya? Okay, so yun. So first, I had to be happy with the list. List. Next, right. I tapped the, <laughs> the artist. Okay. And so it, at first, it was just me and him. Mm-hmm. So I gave him the list and we would meet every now and then to see the progress. Um, that's what I kind of miss in this pandemic, mm-hmm. no? Parang the fact that we could just see each other face to face and look at the drawings and say, oh, maybe we can do this or maybe it can be like this. Mm-hmm. So that yun yung nakaka-miss. I mean, because yeah. everything now is just done on video chat, mm-hmm. which, which does the job. Pero may kind of challenging. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's challenging because yeah. you get stuck in the back and forth. Yeah, I mean, sure. although, although, thank goodness also na may mga delivery service. Mm. Like, for yeah. example, when it was the proofing stage of the printer, um, it had to go back and forth. Kasi parang, oh, you check the proof. Oh, approved na. Okay, send it back to me so I can send it to the printer so I can sign it. Mga ganyan. So there, so um, a few months into it, I think by October or so last year, mm-hmm. um, we were pretty complete na the list, the oh. list and the, the, the illustrations. illustrations. Uh-oh. And then, mm-hmm. um, since we're at O2 Space nga, diba, we would have um, workshops, by buy in workshops with um, CQPH. Do you know oh. Dustin, Ancheta? No. no. Manila for a day? No, sorry. But okay, so anyway, <laughs> but I met him because of O2, even in the mile long days. Because mm-hmm. um, he attended one of our coffee talks with Bam Aquino. Were you there? No, I couldn't make it. But you invited But you remember that, right? Yeah. I remember So, that. yeah. So, I met him there. And then, fast forward, they, they made um, O2 Space the regular venue for Bye Bye In workshops. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with Bye Bye In? Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Rit, Rit, uh, yes, it's the pre-colonial right. okay. ancient script. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. So, apparently, well, when we were growing up, in high school, I learned it as alibata. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero mali pala yung term na yon. Oh, alibata. Mali yung term na yon, yeah. Um, so, i-research na lang kung bakit mali but, yeah, yun. But yeah, why. what stuck to me was bye bye eh. So, yeah, mas pamit. Ah, okay, good. Yeah. Good for you, that's correct. Oh. <laughs> um, so, uh, we already had complete illustrations and biglang, I attended one of the workshops and I was like, this but kaya na oh oh the, let let's add it kasi parang um although there is a, a, a resurgence in the desire to learn by buying yeah it's so uso now to be honest yeah and in and a good way not, uh, yeah oh, oh. but pati mga yeah. tattoos diba yes oh. and actually did you know that sumikat talaga siya because of those mga third culture kids Oh, mga Phil Ams yes. wanting to connect with their roots. Yes, with their yeah. Roots. So, parang actually one of the main proponents of Bye Bye is this Phil Am guy. I forget his name right now, but it, mm-hmm. yeah. So, um, sabi ko, yeah, and parang actually I was kind of a nerd in that way also because we would write our names in Bye Bye. Yeah, also very. I mean, you know, you can you tend to forget, yeah. but it's there and it's fairly simple because it's it's syllabic. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, all the letters are end in A. So it's mm-hmm. ba, ka, da, ga, ha. Yes, yes, yes. You yes, know, yes. that sort of thing. Um, and then you just, it depends where you put the mark, like a little yeah. X, a, a poor <laughs> lip. Or, yeah. Yeah. Be- yeah, so, poor <laughs> lip. Let me see. Oh, because, yeah, um, you learn that in our book. So, mm-hmm. sabi ko, maganda yata na parang, I want kasi kids to know. Mm-hmm. na meron tayong culture na hindi mm-hmm. western na talagang atin so parang even as a toddler parang even if you cannot read it 
you're at least familiar with how yeah, it looks. Yes, super excited na ako to super, see. The I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you the first page. Okay. Oh, well, I'll show you yes, the cover. Can I show you? Yes, yes, please. So this is it. Oh, there. So meron siyang ano? Bye bye. Yes. Under bye 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 siya there. So this one says alphabeto na alikasan. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So we also actually have a guide inside mm -hmm. so that you'll be able to really practice as well. No? Yes. And then you can use the, you can use the, the photos okay. as reference. Yeah. When was the, I know, like when did you start publishing after that? Okay. So we were going to um, go into print na sana. Mm -hmm. Before, you know, nobody knew we would go into lockdown. I mean, so we were going, within March, we wanted to out it already. Kasi sabi ko, oh, let's, let's launch it on Earth Day on April 24. Yeah. <laughs> I had big dreams. I, you know, we'd have a mini yeah. launch here at O2 and stuff like that. But no. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> pero, but a blessing na din siya kasi mm. we were able to work on a little small stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, as a first-time publisher, that's what I learned. Mm -hmm. It's the nitty-gritty. Yeah. Yun yung, yun yung pampatagal. I don't know if it's pampatagal talaga sa kahit sinong publisher. Pero kasi first time namin. Lahat. Yeah, correct. First time namin tatlo, ha? Mm -hmm. Me, Jay, and Dustin for the bye bye. For the bye -bye it was all our first time to do anything like this. Aww. So, uh, the March, April, May, hanggang June. Ah, no, I think we outed it already in June for proofing. Yeah. So, it was really the little things like um, copy editing, yeah. editing, proofreading. Correct. So it's helpful for a third set of eyes. Uh oh, because I think that's that's uh oh. That's a big step. step. Kasi kami, mm -hmm. yes, kasi kami, we've been staring at it, like in the, you know, for a year already. <laughs> halos. So parang hindi na namin nakikita yung mga yeah. mistakes or things like that. So like, pero buti na lang. Actually, in my past life, I was in advertising and I was an account. Manager. manager. <laughs> so, sanay ako dyan. Oh. <laughs> so, pero, parang too late, it was already printed na proof and I'm like, oh, wow, oh. no! We have a oh. mistake here. Ay, may nakita pa akong isa pa. Yung ganyan na parang... Oh. Uh, so, no. buti na lang. We had really good printers. The printers are... She was my classmate in, in high school. Uh -huh. Um fantastic printers and so they were so supportive and understanding wow. <laughs> so yeah so I, I yeah so that's how we got it done um we actually just received the prints last week and we've been busy packing it up and because uh, a lot of people pre-ordered mm -hmm. yay thank you so much i know many of you were my friends <laughs> mm, but i'm but, I, well i'm sure like our viewers are really interested na rin to buy and to see that yes please, ako so please. excited now <laughs> I will send you yours soon. Um, and also, sana masupportahan nila kasi nga, um, actually, mm -hmm. because I keep on mentioning Haribon Foundation, um, yes. part of the proceeds from the sales will actually go to them. Okay, alright. That's nice. Yeah, because, nice. thank you. Yeah, so, yeah. so we, we've, we will be donating some books as well as some uh, proceeds from the sale of the books. Yeah, in Haribon ba, what do they do? They, they help? Yung mga endangered species natin? Is that what The we way we do it, um, I think it's the same naman up to now, uh -huh. um, is uh, really protecting, um, what do we call it? It's called rainforestation. Oh, the forest. Okay. Yes, because the really, um, everything is connected. You can't Correct. just, I mean, you know what, uh, at that time, oh my goodness, when I was still there, we had a campaign called Road to 2020. Mm -hmm. Wow, 2020. Look at us. I know. <laughs> We're at 2020. We wanted to plant yeah. 1 million hectares of forest mm -hmm. in the year 2020. I hope they achieved it then. I honestly, I don't, I, 
you can check their yeah. website, okay. I guess. Pero that's right, no? Kasi habit at everything starts with a habit. Exactly. And it's not just, you know, a lot of people want to do tree planting, etc., etc. But people have to realize that you have to know what to plant. Mm-hmm. So, um, so what, what, what Haribon does, they have um, native tree species nurseries. Okay. So they have partner communities that take care of the species. So for example, I mean, ano yung tree na common sa, let's say, I don't know, what do you know? Like, uh, um, well, Nara is native and that's okay. our letter N. Yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> yes, that's our letter N. Um, and it's our national tree. So dapat yes. lang. Oh, dapat uh, lang. <laughs> yeah, so um, let's see. Like, yeah. like, 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 G- Jamelina, do you know? Are you familiar with no. that? Or, or an Indian tree, you know, those things, ah, yes, the tall yes. ones? Oh, for example, for example. Diba, you see a lot of that in the highways and etc. Correct, yes. Parang as a, let's say, tree planting activity. Those are actually not good. Oh, okay. Because they're not, it's not native. Okay. So, hindi and so, pala. hindi siya kilala ng native pala. birds. Pala. Okay. Yes. So, there are certain trees that you can plant in certain areas. Okay. So it's not also na, for example, you you, you plant a Benguet pine Dire. in Batangas. It might not work also. Okay. So okay. the best really is to plant what used to be there. Okay. So ganun pala yun. So yes. Ganun, let's talk about, so we're talking about the mission, no? Like, uh, of Harry Bond. Pero you, what's your mission for this, no? What, what do you intend to get out of it? And, yeah. Um, well, you know, um, first and foremost, I want to introduce the richness of Philippine biodiversity to children as young as zero. Mm-hmm. And, it, and I don't want any drama with it. You know, <laughs> I don't want like, you know, parang endangered species porn, if you don't mind one. Yeah. Parang yung, it's so sad. It's oh. so, oh no, you have to save. Kasi parang nakaka-turn off yun ng konti. Yeah. Kasi I, I just feel, Mara, if you if you present young people, children with, with beautiful illustrations. It's um, more inspiring, you, no? Yes, it's more inspiring na parang, oh, I know that. Parang yeah. I want it like that. Ayoko yung sad story. So, really the goal is to introduce them to as young an age as possible. Parang mm-hmm. to also instill national pride. Yeah. Parang, I live in the Philippines. Oh, you know wow. what? I have the largest eagle in the world. You know, Tamarao, no other country has that. Yeah. No other island in the Philippines has that. Just Mindoro. Parang, yeah. Even sa age yeah. natin, actually, you know, yung mga parents, actually, kids, I, ako, I'll, I'll be honest, I think, uh, I don't, Siguro not, I don't know even half of what you were saying kanina, no? <laughs> no, like before this. Like, parang, ay, may ganun pala. <laughs> Hindi ko alam. So, I oh, yeah, think, yes, yes. We need to be... And the proud. Filipino terms as well. Oh, oh hindi na. Parang, I don't, I don't, like, my, I mean, admittedly, me, I grew up speaking in English. Mm-hmm. I mean, most of us, most of our yes. generation, di ba? Uh-huh. Um, but I also know my Tagalog. Mm-hmm. Thanks to some Pagita pictures. Uh, <laughs> and the English, the English, thanks to Sesame Street. You know? Uh, um, but we grew up watching yeah. Batibot. Batibot? Medyo malaki na ako noon, Ginger. Ay, ako, ako. <laughs> Batibot. <laughs> Parang older grade school na ako noon. So, medyo hindi na ako nanonood masyado. Uh. Uh, <laughs> so, parang, I also want to instill that source of, you know, that sense of national pride. Yeah. Na parang, I am in the Philippines. I am Filipino. You should know the Philippine names mm-hmm. of the species. So when my daughter, she's almost three, mm-hmm. when she sees a whale shark on like National Geographic Kids or whatever, she'll say, Butanding! <laughs> How cute! You know, versus whale shark. I mean, but I also tell her naman, I tell her both. Yeah. You know, oh, that's a, but- that's a whale shark. Yes, in Tagalog, it is. Butanding. Okay. Yeah. So, you were mentioning kanina, Anya, the challenges no, of not having your colleagues like face-to-face, not talking to them face-to-face. Mm. Like, I can imagine, because you're very particular when it comes to the facts, diba? 
So how yeah. do you sort of like list it down or explain to the illustrator and even to the uh, Dustin yung bye bye in uh, Well, thankfully, actually, most of that was done okay. before the pandemic. Yeah. But then yun na nga, the little oh, okay. nitty-gritty details. Pero there were pa rin, na parang, that's why we missed out siguro on certain things. Yeah. Na parang, ay, na-print na. Parang, <laughs> oh no. Hindi ko, kasi it's, it's different. Diba when you see it like that? Yeah, correct. And parang versus on the screen, I mean, I'm still old school, you know? I still have a little journal mm-hmm. in my bag. Because I cannot... For some reason, I cannot retain things if it's on the phone. Okay, yeah. You still write you it know? down. Really. Yes, I still write it down. I'm still a note taker. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's different talaga. And parang a lot of people are also asking if it's going to be available as an ebook. Yeah. We may. Okay. But because your target really is children, mm-hmm. it's, you know, tactile is different. Eh. You can see, you can touch, and you can... You know, bring oh, it yeah, around. Yeah. You can, so, you know, that sort of thing. So, iba pa rin. So, who helped you pala? Like, create, like, choose the paper? Uh, oh, any- oh, thank cover. you for asking. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sandy Javier, the wife of Jay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so she works kasi in CCP and she happens to deal with a lot of programs and stuff. Yes. So, she came, she came with me to the printer. <laughs> yeah, because I so to, much, Sandy. Diba? Like, ako, yes. Create a book. No, like, what paper should I use? Like for kids? Yes, and the printer was very helpful also. That's why I also wanted to tap friends. Shout out to Primex Printers. Thank you, Margot. No. Um, yeah. Thank my you. high school classmate. <laughs> um, it's iba din if you kind of know people. But I'm sure other people would be helpful as well. But mm-hmm. I just was comfortable with being with people I knew. So she actually accompanied me to the printer. Okay. And the printer themselves were very helpful. Sabi ko, I want it to be thick. It, okay. Uh, this wa- was supposed to be a board book. Okay. Yes. Because nga, I know my children. Gosh, you should see our books. Mga well, yes. <laughs> oh, yung, yung spine. Yes. 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 So initially, it was gonna be a board book, but it was gonna be too expensive. Okay, yeah. And a big part of this is making it more affordable, so more people can buy it How much is or it? gift it. It's yeah. only three hundred forty-nine oh, a copy. Yes. Yeah, and it's thirty-six pages, and it's you know, parang when I showed it to my toddler, hindi niya naman tinunit. Uh-oh. So it's thicker than the usual page. Paper. Yeah. But it's not a board book. If it were a board book, it would have been too prohibitively expensive Uh-oh. and heavy, heavy to ship. Okay, all right. Yeah, so I really want it to be affordable enough. Because it's an advocacy. You don't want it to be prohibitively expensive. So That's yeah, so we decided it's just a thicker GSM. It's just a thicker paper. Mm-hmm. I don't know if a one-year-old would tear it. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe and like, so how long did it take you Anya like the whole process I, I'm i sure like other Philippine or v- our viewers no, who are inspired to write their own books also about like our culture about uh-huh. everything about the Philippines like how long does it take for you to create this well I can only speak for this right yeah, for, yeah. first and um, well it took a year mga one year talaga yeah, mga one, one year kasi nga well, of course, there's life in between kasi. If it were the only thing I was doing, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Yes, kung, may, kung wala akong ibang mabilis. ginagawa, mas oh. mabilis. Um, but yeah. yeah. Well, About a year, okay. For us, one year. Because nga, a lot of, I really wanted to, um, each illustration has been approved mm-hmm. by, um, by, yeah. by wildlife experts yeah. from, from Haribon Foundation. I wanted to make sure of that. Mm-hmm. Um, that they're anatomically correct as much as possible. <laughs> yung ganyan. Kasi yeah. parang ako, y- ako yung unang mamimintas kung mali- may mali eh. <laughs> okay. You know? Yes. So, so I, I know, what are your plans naman after this? Like after the book? Is this like, um, when did you launch pala? Sorry. When did you launch? 
we're launching on August 15. Okay, so you're launching pa lang. Wow, thank you yeah. for agreeing to do this. This and this is a preview. Yes, <laughs> wow. So you're launching. So the, what, are, what are your plans after this? And ano, uh, like any other plans of creating another thing or another? Well, we'll see how this goes. I mean, mm. you know, it's an indie yeah. publication. Um, so indie usually means your own pocket. Yeah. How so, many copies did you print? Like, how many copies did you print? Um, you so, we printed about a thousand copies. Okay, yeah. Usually, kasi yeah. may mga minimum yan for people. May mga minimum, pero syempre, nagmamahal per piece. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, sabi ko sa isip ko, siguro naman, I have a thousand friends. Yeah! <laughs> or if only if only if only five hundred of my friends buy two each. Yes, pwede na. Kaya na to, sabi ko. <laughs> Yeah, and it's also nice, no? Like for for kids, as sure the young kids uh, to know about this, to know. I am sure Zika she'll appreciate also this. No? Kasi ang hirap ngayon na, ang hirap pagturo ng Filipino language nga lang, de ba? Like how to speak yes. in Filipino. It's so hard. So. Correct. You as a parent, you're really gonna look for ways on how to teach them, like interesting yes. ways and creative yes. ways on how to teach yes. them. So it's nice that you show them a peek into what by buy-in or what um, exactly here in the Philippines. Exactly. So and and speaking of more information, so mm-hmm. um, I think it's a good time. Well, it's a, it's it's a good material for mm-hmm. homeschoolers. Yeah. Yes. Oh. oh. Yeah, and so what we've also done is mm-hmm. we added, we actually have a QR code. Oh, wow. Okay. Right here. Because uh-huh. I medyo nerdy ako ng konti. konti uh-huh. um, <laughs> Where, what does it um, I wanted kasi to have the scientific name. Oh, wow. Uh, ganyan. Pero sabi ko, if it had the scientific, it might be too crowded. That's true, yeah. Diba? So Even sabi ko, oh, let's, yeah. Yeah, so let's have an access code that, that will lead to our website. That's nice. That has uh, added information. Just to ano naman, I mean, as if I have more time, I will add more information pa. Yeah, but right now it's the you will have access to the scientific name mm-hmm. and other Filipino colloquial terms. Wow! So for example, the Philippine eagle we call it haribon, but we call it agila also. Yes. But also in the Visayas, if I'm not mistaken, it's also called banog. Okay, banog. Yeah, mga ganyan. So, ba- mm-hmm. And another place, someone commented on our post actually and said banoy. Sa amin ang tawag jan banoy. Mm, okay. So, so, so it has the other colloquial Filipino names for the species. Because now there's not just one name for a certain yeah. species. Maybe you can it, crowdsource. Crowdsource for actually. Sure. Natuwa na ako dun sa dun sa comment na yon. Sabi ko, ah, ang galeng kasi you know mm-hmm. she knew the name in their locality. So that's okay. a good suggestion, Jin. Diba? Crowdsource. That's so nice. Okay, speaking of mga tips, no? what, what are your tips naman for other, for, for the parents out there, actually, for the parents out there? Like, how do we teach them uh, things, no, that they need to know about the Philippines? You know what? Parang a lot of, you know, I have to confess, right? Mm-hmm. Like, during this pandemic, you're with your children 24 7. Mm-hmm. It's no joke, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. So I'm sure a lot of us are tempted to just, you know, turn on the nanny. Yeah. The YouTube, YouTube or, YouTube, iPad. <laughs> or Netflix or whatever, right? So maybe be conscious about the choices you make mm-hmm. um, uh, with what they watch. Like mm-hmm. my eight year old kind of talks like a YouTuber now. Yeah, oh my gosh, ganda din si Zika. Okay. Yeah, so parang, <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that's a challenge. So sometimes I just uh, just make them watch Nat Geo Kids or mm-hmm. something like that. Parang just filter a little. Mm-hmm. I mean, have them have their fun, whatever they like and stuff. No, But then also try to monitor what they're looking at. And just be conscious. Actually, ako, yun na nga, sasabihin naman ng mga tao, Inglesera ako. <laughs> but, I speak Tagalog perfectly. I took yeah. Filip- I took my filo in Filipino. Yeah. Wow. Well, four years. Yes, and I'm proud wow. of that. 
So I expect no less from my children. So I actually consciously speak to them in Tagalog when I remember to have yeah. to be more conscious about it. Hindi kasi, I don't know, bakit nga ba English yung una nating in the top of mind when you speak to a child. Mm-hmm. Whereas, well, oh, but no, no. kung tayo-tayo namang peers, okay lang mag-Tagalog. So parang mm-hmm. bakit dun sa bata kailangan English? Kasi, and I've heard the argument before na parang, oh, because I don't want to confuse the kid, baka hindi pa matuto ng English, tapos baka confusing two languages. But, you know it. Con- au contraire, I mean, yeah. when they're below seven, diba, that's they actually absorb. the best absorption yeah. age. Yeah. Na everything talaga, they know, they can absorb. So I've heard that as well, yeah. Or like, I, like before, when I still had a yaya. Mm-hmm. My yaya kasi would like to practice speaking in English okay. to my children. And actually, in fairness, magaling siya. Mm-hmm. And so, sinasabihan ko siya. Sabi ko, tagalugin mo yung mga bata kasi naiintindihan naman nila. Oo. Oh. So, sabi niya, ma'am, kasi nakatitig lang sila sa akin. Hindi sila sumasagot. <laughs> sabi ko, bigay mo yung sagot. Hindi sa hindi nila naiintindihan. Yeah. Bigay mo yung sagot. Gusto mo ng oatmeal? Opo, gusto ko ng oatmeal. I mean, even if you mm-hmm. have to, that's what yeah. I use, ha? I dictate what mm-hmm. the answer is. Para they know, kasi they just don't know where to start, I guess. Sometimes nga, di ba? What do you mean? Yeah, or, or what do you mean? Parang, oh. napatulala, di ba? Na parang, but if you give the words to them, actually, they will say it back. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm finding, parang, yeah, my, my, yeah, my son, tend, he will understand when I give instructions in Tagalog. Mm-hmm. But he will answer in English. Then I just have to remind him, oh, Diba? Pag Tagalog yung salita ko sa'yo, dapat Tagalog din yung sagot mo. Things like that. So, a little consciousness. I mean, it's really weird. Yeah. Just expose them to stuff that you want them to be exposed to. You yeah. Know? The really good tip, though, Anya. Like, parang ako, yun nga eh, what I got from you was really exposure. And I think ito talaga yung mission also of your book, no? Like, to expose a lot of kids and even the parents like me, no? To, to yeah to the Philippines to we should be proud and we should love what we have here in the Philippines diba? so so yon and also what I got from you is grabe I admire your courage because this is something new to you it's not something yes. that you've done before diba? like this is nope. the first time and even if you started prior to the pandemic no and I think blessing then because I mean yes. You you're you're busy with this right now, the right? and yes. doing a good thing introducing this to to young people of uh, of today. You know? So yon so parang grabe I admire your courage. So if there are viewers who are watching and saying, "Kaya ko ba to?" Just siguro like rewind the replay and yeah, start. Yeah, from, yeah. Just listen to how Anya did it and and kaya eh. Birema, she's a mom of two kids and then she has a business. May utu siya. And then I'm sure you've been like sort of like troubled also diba? with the pandemic, with all of the mm-hmm. things like uh, your family, your your business, mm-hmm. pero, and yet you still have this. So, kaya nyo yan. So, this is, yes. this is siguro us saying, na, yeah, just do it. Try, no? Try. Yes. You, I mean, it, it, yeah. it's been crucial really to have a good support system. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I talked to several people about this before I actually embarked on it, no? Parang, yeah. parang I said, what do you think? Um, oh, yeah, tama, that does not exist. So let's do, do it if you can and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, like big talaga, my husband kept on saying, go, yeah, it's a good idea. Do it, do it, do it. Mm-hmm. And when I shared it with, the, with Jay, parang, yeah, ang galing, good, good <laughs> idea, let's do it. When I showed it to Dustin, yes. hey, good idea, let's do it. You know, so parang, it, 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 find like-minded people. True, yeah. You know, don't, don't, the naysayers, there will be naysayers. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so far I've been lucky enough, parang wala masyado, or maybe I don't care <laughs> about the naysayers. Yeah. Um, but parang, if, if you believe strongly enough, in something that something like this if you believe strongly enough in it 
parang that conviction, nakakadala din siya eh, nakaka-inspire. Mm-hmm. And parang, I don't know, it made me, so, yeah, so I'm not sure if I get, got any naysayers, pero parang I think in my life in general, I kind of tend to have blinders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Focus on against the naysayers. Exactly. Focus on what you're doing. Because if yeah. you think it's something good and you're not doing anything negative or bad, naman, no? so focus. Baka kaya yes, yes. Naman, yeah. There's there's basically you have a mission and then just go for it. Diba? So, yeah. so Anya, where can they find your book? Maybe you can share okay. with them. Yeah. <laughs> so we 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 have a newly minted um, website. It's alphabetonangkalikasan.com. So you can actually buy the book from there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you can also follow us on Facebook. Same name, Alpabeto ng Kalikasan. I know it's a handful to type. Alpabeto ng Kalikasan. Okay. Yes. Alpabeto ng Kalikasan.com. We're also on IGs. We kind of need some IG love. So. <laughs> yes. All right. So, sa mga viewers, no, if you want to purchase the book, just go to alpabeto ng kalikasan.com and also on Facebook and IG, right? Okay, yeah. Sige. thank you so much, Anya. Thank you yeah. for your time. I know sobrang busy as a mom and, and doing all yeah, of I have to escape things. them. <laughs> all right, so my viewers, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell for more videos like this. Again, this is Mommy Ginger. Have a great day. Bye.